Yeah, it's, uh, it's needed. I just had bookshelves, I had no proper storage, so I got two big old drawers that go from side to side. Plenty of space, we can make it look nice. Yeah! Oh, I'm so excited! We much needed this. Let's take a thumbnail picture. Is this enticing? <laughs> I'm telling this is a workout for some squats. Hi guys, and welcome to my new and improved office. I put these shelves up. They don't have much space here, so I got ones that drill into the wall, so space efficient. And, uh, and stylish. Stylish. I got my hour, hourglass thing here. It's great for working if you've just got an hour to work and you don't wanna, you know, the stress of like, you have 10 minutes left. This is just more soothing. And then, as you can see, the drawers that we put in fit perfectly, thanks to my lovely help from the little helper. Me? <laughs> Me. I've got a shelf uh, I've ordered and I've got these two hanging lights I'm going to have from the shelf and I put some art and I've got some photos that I've sent to the framers so it's going to be nice. It already feels more airy and open and I can put my stuff away so. So today is a very exciting day. I am going to organize the pantry. I know from the outside it looks like it's put together and it's probably organized but no, it's truly, I mean it's not that bad but it's not great. There's just stuff everywhere. I've definitely been binging on, you know, organization videos on YouTube. There's something very calming about people cleaning out their pantry and it inspired me to do mine. So I've got four of these containers that are airtight. I also got two of these pantry bins. These are just nice to, you know, stack onions or potatoes or whatever. And then I got two of these Lazy Susans. It's gonna be a home for all of this. Also, my containers for cereal arrived and a container for pasta. I didn't even know this existed, but it looks so nice. This is the best cereal, by the way. It's by Kashi. The chocolate one's really good. And this one is my favorite. This is the toasted berry crisp. Ugh, absolutely delightful. This container is so large. It makes me wanna buy like another one of this just to fill it up, but. So this comfortably fits two boxes of cereal. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Guys, I think we've finally come to a place where the pantry looks great. Like our pantry has never looked better and it took some time because a lot of the stuff had to come in. We had to shuffle things around. So may I present to you our new and improved pantry. 
Wow! Okay, let's bring you closer. Honestly, it is a huge improvement from before. So let's get started with this section over here. My favorite section. Over here, we've got all like my random like rice bits, quinoa. And on this section, we've got all my shirataki noodles. And then on this drawer, we've got all my ramen noodles. Oh, chapagetti. Honestly, this is the best flavor for the pur takdokumyeon. These are uh, condiments that have not been open and we don't know what to do with just yet. Here we have all our canned goods. We've got like diced tomatoes, which are a great base for all types of foods. We've got beans. These are absolutely delicious. Ben always needs these in stock. And over here we've got some nuts, pine nuts in this one, and then like cashews and seeds. Over here we've got our pasta shapes. And then we finally have categorized our produce. This is kind of like our grain oat cereal section. We've got some rolled oats, flaxseed, my uh, sprouted gaba brown rice. And then over here we've got just like some smoothie toppings you can add. Up there, like I actually can't reach it at all, but that's the protein section. These lean bars by the GNC brand are like delicious. Like these are the best protein bars I've ever tried. They taste like, they just taste like a chocolate bar. That is our finished pantry. Like look at it. This is the best it's ever looked. We also redid these shelves over here. As you can see, we've really utilize the Lazy Susans. That's my baking section. The label maker really came in handy. So now I can cross off organizing the pantry off the quarantine list. I was listening to one of my favorite podcasts, The Life Coach School, and Brooke Castillo is always like giving us like different pointers on how to deal with strong negative emotions. And she says that like one of her favorite ways to deal with them is by cleaning. Like while you're cleaning, that is the time where you can just let your mind run wild. Like all your room all the freaking like negative voices, all the hopelessness, just get it out while cleaning. I put two and two together and I noticed that whenever I'm feeling really like down or anxious, I just have to like do something with my hands and I have to like move around, you know? And sometimes I don't feel like going for a run or whatever. Um, so cleaning is the best way because because my mind is so like bouncing around, I, I, I like being able to tangibly put things in their right place. And honestly, cleaning is something that you never regret after. If, if anything, it improves your mood after because you're like, oh wow, like it's really clean and everything, and I know where everything is. I think the key with cleaning and to make it fun is to look forward to it and also to make sure that every item has an intended place. It doesn't need to be, you don't need like a specific storage container, but like you can, for books, example, just put all the books in one place. For art supplies, put it all in one place. Like even if it's just roughly in the same shelf, that's fine. And then from there you can build upon it. You're like, okay, maybe I'll get a box just for my watercolors. And then I'll get a box just for my stickers. Like, you know, you can get like really detailed there. But for now, just putting things roughly in the same category, that really helps. I think every once in a while there needs to be like an overhaul of just really doing an inventory check and seeing like, do I need this? Like, and, and then you go into the whole like Marie Kondo spiral of like, does this spark joy? But now that my pantry is clean, I am feeling really good and happy and I feel like I can do things. The people who've been really watching the channel will remember these. So here is the finished garage, everything. It's like a game of Tetris, really. Over here, we've got Ben's golf stuff, and on top, we've got all of Ben's drumming equipment. In these storage boxes, we've got one for floaties, one for camping gear, and then I've got a couple of clothing items that I just can't part ways with. Picnic setups. And then on the right side, we've got Christmas decorations, a cooler, and some just random little knickknacks. Hey, everyone. 
I wanted to show you guys the before shot for the bathroom counter. As you can see, there's just like a ton of products on here. And the key to a beautiful bathroom is not having anything on the surfaces. I realized that was the main theme of all the Pinterest photos that I saved. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna grab everything on the counter and then put it in here. Ooh. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do today because my package from West Elm arrived. I got this hand soap dispenser, this little tumbler, and this tray. And I think it just looks so beautiful paired like that. So this is the only thing I want displayed on the counter. That was a little anticlimactic, but I must say it does look nice. I think now we can add like a little design thing there. Who knows? Right now, I am prepping for my very first Instagram Live on my book club. I really don't do Instagram Lives very often, and also I'm not really the type of person who can just like chat for ages without a purpose. I mean, YouTube's different because I can take pauses. If something comes out that I'm like, wait, maybe I shouldn't have said that, I can edit it out. But with Live, it always just makes me nervous because whatever is out there can be like misunderstood, and with every thing that I put online, I have to really be careful about what I say. Even when I do Instagram stories sometimes, uh, there are things that I realize like, oh God, I shouldn't have said that, you know? And then and then people will shame you. And so it creates, it creates a whole ripple effect. That's why I've been very cautious about Instagram Live. But now that I have a purpose and it, we're gonna be going over like a discussion about the book that we're reading, I think I feel more confident. So we're gonna see how it goes today. Uh, it's gonna be in six minutes. When I'm doing things that are new, I really, really like to be prepared. So I have a doc with all my questions, like the explanation of what the live is gonna be. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and prep because I feel like that's the only thing that really calms my nerves. Also, I've been loving this drink. It's called Skin Tea. It's basically a sparkling drink with collagen in it and caffeine, so. Amazing. It gives me energy and it's good for my skin. And, mm, and it tastes delicious. I feel like my glam level has been at an ultimate low and I really do enjoy the process of getting ready and getting dolled up. And it's been so long since I have worn any of my wigs and I haven't worn this uh, like blue, this light blue one in the longest time. So yesterday I gave her a nice shower and I washed her and um, I'm gonna style her. When you're doing the wig cap, you wanna make sure that all these little baby hairs are tucked in because that just kind of ruins the illusion. All right, so once the wig cap is secure, then you're just gonna wanna get the got to be glued spray and I'm just gonna spray that all along the hairline. And then I'm gonna go in with the got to be spiking glue and I'm gonna start pasting it on this on the hairline as well. And for those who are wondering where I get my wigs, uh, this one I got it custom made by Tiger. He is so talented. He's actually made a lot of my wigs. Also Yes Style has a lot of great wigs. I would say for the synthetic wigs, definitely get the ones that have bangs because that looks the most like, realistic. <sighs> Wish me luck. This part is always the hardest part, okay. <laughs> you got it? What? Oh, where, where, where is this? Is this? Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a soft attempt of kind of clearing out and like redecorating my desk space. I've never been like thrilled with it. I think when I was younger, I always just dreamed of having like an all white room with like slight pops of color. Now that I have it, I'm just like, Ugh, like I don't know how I feel about this. Since I already bought the furniture, I don't want to be wasteful and be like, oh, like let's scratch it on, start a new, like I would really like to try and repurpose what I already have. But regardless, things are just piling up. Like I've got all these baskets that don't actually have anything in them. It's nothing is functional. Like this one just has like, random notebooks, cards, 
and lighters. Like, what? I'm struggling. What I have done is each pile is something. So over here, we've got my planner stickers, which I would like to keep on hand. Over here, we've got all my Korean homework. Here are just sentimental things, you know, like my old planners, journals. I got my sticker pile here. And then this is all like my camera gear. So I just need to figure this out. We're, we're gonna get there, guys. It's gotta be messy before it gets better, right? Alright guys, I am tapping out for today. Yeah, I moved my bonsai tree and I just kind of rearranged some things just to make it look a little bit more minimal. I moved that filing tray from that corner to the shelf just to give my desk some room and more space. It's definitely more airy. I also added this mirror here. It's not quite right, but I think I'm getting closer. And that section I'm going to tackle another day. In this basket over here, we've got my empty notebooks. I've got my craft bullet journal stuff there. For my drawers, I this is my epilator stuff. And then I put my coloring pencils and my arts and crafts stuff over here. I've got tape, we've got my stickers, more notebooks. In this drawer over here, we've got all my camera gear. We've got film, like computer spray, my tripods, and my cameras. quite the workout. Can you guys believe that it's day 18 of me being on this ab challenge and my abs are like, I mean, they don't look like Chloe Ting, you know? But then again, my diet isn't perfect. I'm like still eating pizza and pasta and cereal and cheese toasties and basically I'm still eating like whatever the fuck I want. I'm fitting back into my pants again, which I'm happy about. And I added a new thing to spice up the workouts because I've noticed that when I'm in Pilates, there's like a lot of resistance. When I'm at Barry's, there are weights. And now I'm just doing like using the weight for my body. And so I'm trying to add a little bit more strength training into my system. So I found these old ankle weights. So I find that it really makes me break a sweat because suddenly I have like eight pounds on my legs. And it really, really works out the core when I am doing like, ow, reverse crunches. And then even when I do a simple like leg workout, I feel like my whole leg's burning. I've been really enjoying doing the like full body, low impact, no jumping video, where it's just like a series of her just like moving her legs, like doing leg circles and marching. And in that video, she's not wearing ankle weights, but then when you do wear ankle weights, it's like really, really challenging. So that's what I have incorporated into my workout plan, my home workout plan.